All right, glad to have you join us again. Now, let's get talking now. Our first interview segment on the program. We're talking inflation. We're discussing issues that concern inflation, how they relate to me, how they relate to you. The impact inflation is having on your pocket is what we're going to be looking at today. But before we get deep down into the conversation, let me tell you that Nigeria's inflation rate continues its upward journey. As the latest report from the National Bureau of Statistics, that's the NBS, showed that it surged to 27.33% in the month of October. The NBS, in its Consumer Price Index report, disclosed that the October 2023 headline inflation rate represents a 0.61 percent point increase compared to the figure for the previous month of September. Meanwhile, food, in food inflation continues to be the major driver of inflation as food inflation rose to 1.52 percent on the year-on-year -year basis, representing a 7.80 percent point increase to the rate recorded in October 2022 that stood at 23.72%. The surge in the year-on-year -year food inflation was driven by price increase in various categories, including bread and cereals, oil and fat, potatoes, yam and other tubers, fish, fruit, meat, vegetables, milk, cheese, and um, eggs. Now let's get talking and to do more analysis of these figures and all the macroeconomic issues burning one at that. I'm now being joined live in our studios by a research and strategy analyst at African Plus Nigerian African Plus Partners Nigerian Limited. Lamidi Olainka, it's good to have you join me in the studio again this morning. Yeah, good for good. Uh, happy to happy joining. All right, I, I know we've been working towards having you here, and um, it's a pleasure. You're, do, you're, you're doing me the honors to be here. Let's get talking now. The inflation rate for the month of um, October, 27.33%. Does it come as a surprise to you or is what expected? Looking at the numbers, right, 27.33%, which is um, actually 0.61% yes. uh, increase from yes. what we had in September 2023, which was um, 26.72% year on year. And it wasn't a surprise because we still have the remnant of the um, so, uh, first subsidy removal, mm -hmm. as well as the you know foreign the exchange, of the exchange, exchange yes, yeah. exactly, and uh, we also have these um, you know this recent fluctuation is exchange rate impacting mm -hmm. um, the um, food prices, you know, developing past two on mm -hmm. food and energy mm -hmm. prices and, you know, other um, commodity prices in Nigeria. So, and um, we also have some other issues in terms of insecurity as well as, you know, the, um, these post harvest losses as well. I mean, those are the uh, impact that have built up and to have the inflation figure to currently be at that 27.22%. Right. Now, I, I, I know you've also talked about the key fundamentals that actually led to this, but then again, let's look at some other fo uh, factors. At a time when global inflationary um, um, trends are recording a decline, uh, wh wh why is Nigeria still experiencing a continuous upward trend um, in, in CPI? I know you've mentioned some of those key issues, <coughs> but then again, look, let's look at it from the physical and monetary part now. What are they not doing right that is leading or fueling an increase in, CP in, in inflation? Yeah, exactly. As you've mentioned, when compared to um, global uh, movement Market, in the yeah. uh, global movement in inflation. Inflation. I mean, recently we've seen uh, moderation in eurozone inflation declining by 2.9 yeah. percent uh, in uh, for October 2023. Where you know otherwise in Nigeria mm. uh, we've seen inflation increasing. Um, but we should not you know drive away the fact that if we check our month of month inflation figures mm. right, we see that um, I mean in in August 2023 inflation was around. Uh, the that month inflation was 3.18 percent in um, September 2023. The inflation dropped to uh, 2.09 percent, and in um, all October, which is the recent release by yeah. the MBS, yeah. so we see uh, what we've seen is that inflation was actually 1.73 percent in October. So there's been this moderation. So which simply means that Nigerian has, I agree with the fact that Nigerian has its own fair share mm. of global economic impact, and um, which perhaps we can attribute, we can also attribute that moderation to, you know, that fair share of Nigeria um, economic um, global economic impact. Um, basically, I won't say they aren't, they aren't doing their best. I mean, I believe the monetary authorities are actually doing their best to, you know, and you also alluded to, I mean, you could, uh, you would also agree to the recent reform in the money market, yes. uh, which shows that these guys are actually doing their best and um, they are monitoring the situation and um, finding, a, uh, finding, you know, ways, I mean, 
policies to ensure that they tame the inflation figures. Talking about inflation now and how to go about taming it, it's a stubborn monster that has been affecting us. It's affecting my pocket. I tell you what, on Saturday last week, I went to the markets to get some things for my home and I was really, really angry. And that's one of the reasons I don't like going to the market. I was really, really angry. I actually had, had a budget but I exceeded my budget. And the reason is because the prices of food commodities are skyrocketing. Now, the question is, at what point are we going to see the impact of government economic reforms on the, sky, the, the, the high price of food, food inflation, and also inflation figure as a whole? Okay, um, thank you very much for that question, right? Uh, how soon are we likely to see impact? I would say uh, we can break it down into short term and medium term, oh, right, and right. short term and long term. Right uh, over the short term, we are likely to. Yeah, the situation s seems to w w somehow is seeming to remain the same. Yeah. Um, we are not likely to see any significant improvement. I mean, we're looking at the fact that um, you know de December is coming. Yeah. You know, December season. You it's know, consumers um, spending, spending goes high. Yeah. Skyrocket, yeah. Uh, skyrocket, and um, you know, this would also keep inflation figures elevated. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, however, you we perhaps can uh, we perhaps can you know assume that uh inflation figure will not go as 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 much as projected mm. uh considering the fact that consumers income had been already eroded so mm. they would want to spend much mm. uh, even in that december time so mm. we are likely to say uh, to see inflation figures you know stay at the um same um same same, same rate of um, movement i mean so but in the short term we are not likely to see any significant uh same kind so we are likely to see continued um inflationary pressures considering the fact that um, money supply is also um is also um, you know on the rise and the budget would also need to you know seek ways and means to be able to fund exactly. this this budget deficit and uh, i mean f of course they they don't have choice because the revenue is not even enough to fund the budget and in the long term i mean if you look at it um the the federal government long-term yield is actually around 15 percent 16 percent and uh, um, which is even higher than the long-term inflation um, figure of around 12 point, um, 12 point 12 point 9 percent to 13 percent there about so there's still this return so the outlook is still okay for nigeria in the long term but in the short term we are likely to arrest some um pressure some key factors contribute to the uh, to this pressure in the headline inflation and not until we arrest that then we can rejoice all right great now let's talk about this now there's these projections being made by the bank of america okay. um even the listed pro uh, projection by kpmg as well now nigeria's inflation rate will actually hit 30 percent by december what we're seeing currently now is the is the inflation rate for the month of october we're yet to get that for november coming up in the month of um, december mm -hmm. as well in your own projection, looking at current macroeconomic indices, what do you forecast? Do you think that Nigerian inflation rate will actually hit 30? And if it does, paraventure it does, what will this mean to the average Nigeria, to businesses and the economy at large? Yeah, and thank you very much for that question. I mean, there's been concern and there's been this prediction that inflation will surpass 30% by, mm. uh, by December 2023. And in my own view, I, I do not think inflation would um, surpass that rate. I mean, but will it get to 30%? Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, I, I do not think um, inflation will surpass that rate. Uh, uh, on a base case, I would say inflation will stay below 30%. Okay. Uh, we would likely to see inflation 28, 29%. I mean, mm. and this is valid perspective concerning the fact that we um, the impact of the first subsidy removal is winning off mm. entirely on the infla on the headline inflation figure as well as the um, effects foreign exchange movement and all you know these impacts are winning off and I mean this is also valid from the perspective that um, if you go back to to if you look at the numbers basically you'll see that um, except 20 except July last year yeah. so the month on month differences in headline inflation has been below negative or positive one percent has been below one percent negative or positive so the month on month that means if you want to forecast for next month inflation figure what you just have to do is to apply a percentage which is below one percent then add it to the headline inflation for this month to be able to forecast for the next month and if you do that so which simply means that currently we have 27 percent and if you do that adding one percent one percent so you are likely to have 29 percent by mm -hmm. december 20. so in that perspective we are not likely to um, but i mean well, on in in the worst case scenario yes. so uh if um Possibly we have any yes. announcement from yeah. the federal government yeah. triggering, triggering the um, um, the market, so yeah. we are likely to see inflation, you know, shoot uh, and balloon above um, thirty percent by. But and the impact, of course, yes, this, will the have, this will have on 
on, on businesses is that there will be increased input, input costs. I mean, it would um, result to increased input costs, you know, driving down their net margin. And there would also, um, you know, s some of the, um, which um, this would also um, reduce investment for this um, because will be, it will affect their ability to source um, funding yeah. to be able to finance their cooperation. And um, some of them would even be, uh, some of these businesses may be con considering, you know, cutting their payroll. And, um, you know, uh, on, the, on the business, uh, on the consumer and so um, actually, inflation has eroded um, purchasing power. Even exactly. uh, my my uh, <laughs> I, I, I try to adjust myself <laughs> exactly. as well. So um, you know, on the consumer side, to just be specific, right? There are two. Um, side of it, uh, there are two sides of it. So we have the income, imp uh, income effects and we have the substitution effect. So the substitution effect is that the consumers would find a way to substitute, um, you know, uh, higher uh, or you know higher expensive product to a lower expensive product, mm -hmm. and so they would go for alternative product that is less expensive. And um, on the income side, they would try to ensure that they manage their income because the marginal propensity mm -hmm. for consumers is um, is is actually on the rise, and yes. for them to be able to manage that income based on that prospects to consume so they would have to reduce their consumption so on that level i think these are some of the impact that we are likely to see so it will worsen standard of livings of um, many nigerians and um, I, I i believe the federal government is i mean the monetary authorities are doing um, you know something right. to ensure that this situation is arrested we need to go now but let's talk about the npc meeting that's coming up next week and uh, then in your own uh, view about this do you see that do you see the npc actually retaining or reducing or maintaining current interest rates, going by the, the, the rate at which um, inflation is also um, <coughs> skyrocketing. Okay, um, looking at it, currently the NPR is around 18.75%. Yeah, 18.75%. Okay. Yes, it was marginally increased the yeah. last time. The NPR is around 18.75%. And the last time they couldn't have that meeting because, yeah, because of change of leadership in that CBN. And, um, and which is, which, you know, um, make this very evident that the next meeting will be happening. And, um, you know, consider the economic fundamentals, the fact that we can, we've been seeing, um, you know, uptick in the headline inflation. So it's likely to uh, suggest that um, the NPR, um, the uh, monetary policy authority would want to, you know, increase the uh, the uh, MP MP yeah. which is the interest rate, to you know go beyond eighteen point seven five and to attract investors and also be able but, to. So sorry to butt in. If they are going to increase MPR yeah. by any basis point or any any benchmark yeah. um, point, is that not in in contradiction to the stance of the president? The president has also always said that. Our interest rate is not good for the economy. Yeah. And if the monetary policy now goes ahead to hike monetary policy rates, what does that tell? Yeah, thank you very much for that question. Uh, it is ideal in economics to, you know, as inflation is increasing, to also increase um, interest rates. So you can Sorry tell to bottle yeah, again. Yeah, Sorry I'm, to bottle again. Your question. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry to bottle again. Yeah. An hike in inflation and an hike in NPR has never in any way. Yeah. Subdue so inflation yeah, rates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's in Nigerian perspective. I mean, if you look at you know the global space, we've mm. been seeing hike in inflation, leading to um, decline in um, inflation. Recently, U.S. inflation, I think, actually moderated, as well as the um, you know, inflation figures in the eurozone. We've seen we've seen that decline by 2.9 mm. percent. And you know, in Nigeria, yeah, yes. so the, the, um, it is um, the, the contrary. Reverse the, rever the reverse is the case. So, and uh, one thing is, there is a new call. I mm. mean, you know, answering your question regarding the um, president's opinion on that. So there's a new call that um, you know we've been increasing inflate, uh, interest rate and yes. it hasn't been having any impact of on inflation and you know where we now have that um, you know major uh, the major issue, issue right affecting mm. the uh, inflation is that the, is that of the supply side so why don't we find a way to boost supply rather than constraining it because of, of of course I mean obviously if you increase interest rate so you are likely to um, you know productivity would reduce right and you know which will uh, also shrink um, the um, economy of that country so. Why don't to reduce the interest rate so that these guys who want to you know boost supply in the in in the market mm. would be able to source loan or you know get loan at a favorable rate then use that to invest in their businesses and you know help us to push um you know the needed uh, supply in the market so i mean perhaps the this is something that the cbn can also consider doing and you know monitor the movement to check if that would have impact on 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 the headline inflation all right finally now 30 seconds now do you have confidence in the Yemi Kadoso led CBN team. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Looking at um, the recent policy actions that have been uh, embarked upon by, by the new um, CBN yeah. uh, administration, I mean, I, I believe this um, this, uh, this uh, administration are doing their best to um, to tame the inflation and bring back the um, uh, economic um, you know economic confidence um, that that has been lost, mm. and I hope that um, in, in in due time we are going to see um, the outcome of those um, policy actions. All right. I'd like to say a big thank you to you, Lamide Olayinka. It's not easy to get you here, but finally we're able to make it. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for and having thank me. you for the insights that you shared with us yeah. on this topic of conversation that we had on the show today. I've been speaking with um, a research and strategy analyst at African Plus Partners Nigerian Limited, Lamide Olayinka, who, is, who has been with me in the studio as we discuss issues that concern inflation and also other burning macroeconomic issues. Thank you as always for your time. Thank again. you for having me. All right, we shift focus now. Let's talk about what played out in Saudi Arabia. President Bola Tunubo was there. All the 50 leaders from the African continent were there. And also, let me tell you that deals worth 500 million euros were also signed. So much to talk about about that. Don't go anywhere. So stay with us. It's Business Breakfast on iBrand Television. Keep watching.